This movie is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, but we've got to pick our favorites. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Mary Poppins moments. I did a glorious die, right as a morning in my, I feel like I could fly. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at our favorite songs, dances, and details from this classic film. Though your pillow's soft and deep, you're not sleepy as you seem. Number 10. A Comical Poem Comical poem, suitable for the occasion, extemporized and thought up before your very eyes. Let's start at the very beginning of the movie. Before we meet Mary herself, we're introduced to Bert, who is entertaining a crowd of his admirers as a one-man band, making up little personalized poems on the spot for them. Miss Locke likes to walk in the park with Andrew. <laughs> During this scene, he expresses that he feels a change in the wind, letting the audience know that something exciting is about to happen. Winds in the east, mist coming in, like something is brewing, about to begin. This also acts as a preview for some of the great music that's to come, teasing one song in particular. I'm sorry, where was I? Number 9. Jane and Michael present their nanny ad. We do so want to get on with a new nanny. Very sensible. I should be glad to have your help in the matter. The action of the film kicks off when Mr. and Mrs. Banks realize they need to hire a new nanny, because their unruly children have scared the last one away. Mr. Banks wants to choose someone stern who will rein in his misbehaving kids. But Jane and Michael themselves have an entirely different idea as to the type of nanny they'd like. If you want this choice position, have a cheery disposition. In this adorable poem, they list all the qualities they're looking for, most of which don't exactly line up with what their father had in mind. Love us as a son and daughter, and never smell of barley water. I put that in too. The way Michael chimes in to point out his contributions is particularly funny. Hurry, nanny, many thanks sincerely. Jane and Michael, thanks. Thank you, most interesting. Number 8. Chim Chim Cheri. If you first watched Mary Poppins as a kid, you likely remember being terrified during the part where Jane and Michael are lost in London's East End and run into a grubby man in a dark alleyway, only to realize that it's actually Bert. It's an initially scary moment, but what comes after is one of the most delightful songs in the film, Chim Chim Cheri. Chim Chimini, Chim Chimini, Chim Chim Cheri. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim Chimini, Chim Chimini, Chim Chim Cheri. Good luck, we're a buff when I shake hands with you. Though there are tons of great musical numbers in this movie, this is the one that won the Academy Award for Best Original Song. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Then them what sings chim chim chiri chim chiru, chim chim and me chim chim chiri chim chiru. Number seven, flying a kite. Tuppence for paper and strings, you can have your own set of wings. Before Mary arrives on the scene, the Banks children ask their father for help building an improved kite, but he dismisses them, deeming their desires to be trivial. Things come full circle in this scene near the end of the film, though, when Mr. Banks finally undergoes the character evolution we've been waiting for. He fixes the kite for them, and the family of four dances off to give it a try all together. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. It's a wonderful and heartwarming happy ending for the Banks family, but also marks the bittersweet moment that Mary Poppins takes her leave with the changing wind. 
You know, they think more of their father than they do of you. That's as it should be. Number six, Mary flies in. Take a look. It's a witch. Of course not. Witches have brooms. Despite the fact that Mr. Banks tears up the children's advertisement for their perfect nanny and throws it into the fireplace, it somehow makes its way to Mary Poppins. A bunch of dour looking nanny candidates have shown up at the Banks residence to interview for the job, as advertised by Mr. Banks. Things look grim for Jane and Michael. That is, until all the candidates are magically blown away by a strong gust of wind, and Mary floats serenely onto the scene. She then introduces herself to Mr. Banks, leaving him gobsmacked that she somehow got access to the letter. Item four, you must be kind. I am kind, but extremely firm. Have you lost something? Ah! Her quirky personality is on display from this very first scene, and we're immediately enchanted. Number five, magic bag. That's a funny sort of bag. Carpet. You mean to carry carpets in? Nope, made of. Though we had gotten some touches of magic before this point in the movie, seeing Mary Poppins begin to decorate her room using household items that she pulls from her carpet bag really produces a sense of awe in viewers of all ages. Never judge things by their appearance. Even carpet bags. I'm sure I never do. Her bag magically contains a lamp, an ornate mirror, a houseplant, and seemingly impossible depth. This is also the scene where Mary measures the children using her special tape measure, which deems her to be practically perfect in every way. As I expected, Mary Poppins practically perfect in every way. After watching this scene, we're left with no choice but to agree with that assessment. Number four, Tuppence. I'll each day to the steps of St. Paul's, the little old bird woman while many of the musical numbers in Mary Poppins are upbeat and cheery, there is one song that stands out for how melancholy it is. Feed the birds, tuppence a bag, tuppence, tuppence, tuppence a bag. Feed the birds brings with it notes of sadness each time it pops up throughout the movie. And the most poignant instance is when Mary shows the children a snow globe and sings to them of the woman who sells breadcrumbs for tuppence a bag on the steps of St. Paul's Cathedral. Though her words are simple and few, listen, listen, she's calling to you. Of all the songs that were written for Disney films, though, it's been said that this one was one of Walt Disney's favorites. Tuppence a bag. Number three, Stepping Lively. Stepping on, stepping on, stepping on, stepping on. Kick your knees up, link your elbows. There may be more memorable songs in the movie than this one, but in terms of production value, this particular number is tough to beat. Step in Time is the sort of musical number that you just don't see anymore in modern musicals. It's a long sequence that lasts nearly 10 minutes, with Bert leading the rest of the chimney sweeps in a rousing rendition of this repetitive but infectiously catchy tune. The scene begins on the rooftops of London, but eventually the whole ensemble makes its way into the Banks family home for a hilarious and riotous conclusion. What's all this? What's all this? What's all this? What's all this? Number two, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. One of the most memorable and enduring things for Mary Poppins is this mouthful of a word and its accompanying song. 
As a kid, was there anything more fun than trying to get it right? You can say it loud enough, you'll always shout for Koja. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. This scene not only features a fantastically fun musical number, but also shows off the mixture of live-action performance and animation which came to be emblematic of the movie. From the penguin dance and the group jumping into the chalk drawings, it's a musical spectacular packed with memorable visuals. We bet you've mastered the art of saying this word, but can you say it backwards? You know, you can say it backwards, which is docious alley ex theistic fragicali rufus, but that's going a bit too far, don't you think? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. And you'll achieve that sense of conquest as your affluence expands. We love to laugh <laughs> loud and long and clear. <laughs> we love to laugh. <laughs> Stupid. Number 1. Spoonful of Sugar In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap! The job's a game! It's tough to pick a number one favorite moment for this list, considering there are so many catchy tunes and charming scenes to choose from. But since we have to, we've got no choice but to declare a spoonful of sugar as the most memorable moment in all of Mary Poppins. For a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down, the medicine go down. The message behind the song is one that everyone would do well to remember. An unpleasant task is only as bad as you make it. They find, they find, their, their task is not a The song itself gives Julie Andrews a chance to truly shine, hitting the high notes in a way that's both comical and impressive. When you quite finished. Thank you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.